Yeah, that's all right with you. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I'm, I'm not in it. <laughs> no, no, you won't be. You, you don't want to be in it. I mean, the little light doesn't turn on at all. You'd think it would, the little light blinks. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to blink. But it does ignite. Okay, well. Could that be messed up, this here? Yeah, it could, yeah, any number of parts could be messed up. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, there could be a bad motherboard. Um, you know, I think when they take these water heaters out, based on what Dave was telling me, because he buys them in bulk out of Los Angeles. Yeah. So like a plumbing company, maybe these people or whoever, yeah. they come in and um, tear out whatever, 150, 200 of them, however many. From like a random job site? Who cares if they're good? really big apartment, apartment complexes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they will annually change them all before they oh, leave, right? Yeah, yeah. So they like reach a certain service date and they pull them all out. And then Dave goes up and buys them. This is for me? Sure, yeah. 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 That's what I was using. We got two of them. Yeah, there you, you go. <laughs> Sit down, careful though, it hurts your back yeah. after a while. Oh, it does it? Yeah. Let, me, let me grab a cake to me. Sure. Because he knows there's just something small yeah. that's wrong with him. And I said, yeah, bring them over and we'll just we'll just sit down and bang them out real quick. One, yeah, because yeah. you check yours I haven't put any water in it for that reason. Because I was okay. like, he told me first, he said, just make sure that it turns on. Mm -hmm. And once it turns on, you can fill it, fill it up with water and everything. But yeah. I don't want to do that yet until... So. Yeah, no, I, I did another one for him the other day, and that guy didn't fill his up with water. So I'm like, David must be coaching people into yeah, he is. He's <laughs> telling not, to fill not it up. Filling oh, them up. Don't fill it up, right? Oh, and he's got heartburn. So well. Hey, how are you, man? He's helping out with the. Would you like a drink? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm you work for the water company, so anything that happens in water here in IB, you let them know. It's not hot water heaters. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I was like, that's kind of a different thing. Yeah. Damn, you went big, Marty. Not really, it just needed a water This one leaked in the back, so the back of this right here, I can still tell. Right here, it has a hole right here, and it just started leaking all the water through there. So did you guys try and bridge this together at all? Were you yeah, doing... I put a paper clip on them did, both. Did it work? It didn't blink. I just waited for it. It didn't want to do nothing. Oh, okay. I tried it, but... All right. Well, yeah, I, I just wanted that. to save you a trip, man. Cause this yeah. <laughs> I was trying to like... How far are you from here? Oh, uh, like downtown San Diego. Oh, okay. You're in Logan, right? There you yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. that's not too bad. No. You're letting me pretty close to Dave. Well, it's a nice drive when there's no traffic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm real say, close I, to Dave. I'm yeah. like a block away from I literally from just the, left. Well, I got 45 minutes from that area. From from downtown? Yeah, uh, 445. Yeah. Sure. Where are you down? Are you seeing Santa Willie or what? Uh, I had a, I was up at his house. Good. I was going to clean that thing with the... Where the, where, the, where the the pilot goes. I gave it a little... Thing. Okay. Right here? No. Inside there. Oh. I brushed it a little oh, did you pull everything out? Uh, yeah, I pulled it out. Just because I remember how you did it. Mm -hmm. It's still not like coming out. Zach, Zach had to go do some stuff. So I kind yeah, of well... And then Paulette got here. She helped me put it. It wouldn't be here if it was working, right? Yeah, <laughs> if it was me. She just got there. But I was just like, I just need somebody to help me. And I'm sure it doesn't fall over. Yeah. I picked it up, put it on. Can yeah, I know you're you're doing the right thing. You just gotta watch my videos. Yeah, no, I've been watching them. And then you'll uh, and then <laughs> drain this thing. Yeah, drain. Okay, good call. Okay. Yeah, it's just like it's like a little bit of water. No. So this is like a little cheater box that I use. Little. Oh wait, there we go. Uh oh, like now. Look at that. Oh, too. there it is. So what's that cheater box do? Give it more power? It just gives it power. Is it just gives it a constant, yeah. Like a kick? Yeah, it, it simulates what the pilot light's doing. So, uh, so the, okay. the, the flame from the pilot light is converted into millivolts, yeah. and then those millivolts are sent back to the motherboard, mm. and I'm just doing all that through. Without, without the, the yeah. So it could be that little part where the flame is that's not generating? Eight, maybe four, five, six, seven. So this, uh, according to this, you have a bad valve. So it's flashing seven times. You're getting seven flashes. Here, let me show the viewers here. So we got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. But we'll see if we can uh, clear that out. What valve does it say? Oh, is it off? I'm sorry? What kind of valve does it say? The valve? Yeah, which valve would it be? Oh, it's this valve. Oh, oh it's, it's the gas valve. The got? Oh, the gas valve? Yeah. Yeah, it's the. It, it's not on. It shouldn't be on because it hadn't stayed. Oh, yeah. You had it yeah, it's on, but it's not holding. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a the light. No, it's on. Yeah, it's on because I. Oh, because the other. Yeah, you had the. Because I cheated. Yeah, you're cheating. <laughs> yeah. This is like this. Just helps me diagnose, right? Helps me diagnose quickly. Mm -hmm kind of what's going on without having to chase down at some pathway that might be the wrong pathway. Yeah. So this just kind of gets me there. Yeah, it's not holding it. So John's here. Is it that valve again, like the one we worked on at the other place when we replaced Yeah. We replaced that little heat, the heating that gets, that generates electricity, I guess. Oh, the thermal pile? Yeah, the thermal pile. No, I'm going to measure that right now. But my guess is that's probably pretty good. Might be low, yeah. but it's probably fine. Well, it just uh, might not be. Uh, the, the it might not be. Do you need to be plugged in or no? Yeah. No, I don't want them plugged in. Oh, <laughs> no, I gotta me I gotta measure the voltage. I got yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we don't want those. We don't want those plugged in. Oh, right there. I have we don't. We don't want those. Yeah, no, I just want to see what the, how he uses it. So this has okay. to be, this black piece has to be on the black, like this has to be here. Yeah, I don't have my glasses with me, but I've got it on. Um, I've got it, the black on calm, calm, whatever calm is. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's the bottom. And um, and then I've got it over on what looks like the, the ohm piece, symbol yeah, or whatever. Yep, that's I mean, it right we, there. Okay. Yep, I got, got a picture got of that. I want a picture of that. Because okay. I have the same meter you have. Okay. And then I've got it on DC, <coughs> right? DC yeah. millivolts, and yeah. I've got it on 2,000. Because I need to measure less than a volt. Okay. So I need to see between 0 and 1,000. Right? So if I put it on 20, that's like a car battery. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's like 12 volts, 10 yeah, volts. Yeah. So I need to see what the voltage is. But it's less than a volt, so it's a very little amount. Here. I think I tried it last time I used the jacket. Yeah, that's pretty healthy. So it's at uh, it's at six six seventy four. So usually you want it on seven hundred or something like that? Yeah, seven fifty would be great. Eight fifty would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Not even you'll never see nine fifty, but it can go this thing we tested the range when we built uh, right. the little tester, we built a different one that had a, a potentiometer on it. Mm -hmm. And that allowed us to dial up the voltage from, from one millivolt all the way up to one volt. And these mm -hmm. valves we cut out at nine hundred and ninety nine millivolts. Oh. So they can actually take that amount of voltage. They just you'll never get that out of a thermal yeah. pile. So that's what's producing right now with the flame? Yeah, so that's I mean, what it's producing. That's so the thermal little... thing's good? It's okay? Looks like it's good. It looks like it's good. Now these connectors could be bad. I've seen that a billion times. I got three service calls like that in a row where I was measuring the voltage. I was plugging it in. Uh, I was changing covers or motherboards. I was changing valves like crazy. And I'm like, what the... And eventually um, I had to change out the thermal pile because... Um, something in the connector was was becoming loose when I would plug it into the board. Yeah, it happens. It happens with ream a lot. I don't really see it with these. And what's nice with these is I can swap out half of it right here. I yeah. can just pull it out pull and out. plug another wire in and yeah. hopefully catch it um, without having to tear the whole burner assembly out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a different valve in there because I'm just going to go with what it's telling us. It's yeah. saying... You got a code seven. You got a bad valve. You listen to it. You change the valve. What's, it should the, be what's the valve? That, that. Yeah, yeah, you'll see it here in a oh, second. Oh, okay. So you'll get no, it. Yeah, all that. of us are trying to figure out what the valve is. I mean, you taught I thought me, it was this thing right here. You had taught me a lot last time. You know, and I, already, uh, I already felt like safe at doing the work. You know. Yeah. But so, there's more to these things. You know. Yeah, there's a little bit more. They're real <laughs> super simple. I mean. You know, they're pretty easy to work on. There's not a whole lot. Like, everything's kind of put together. Do you need to turn off the gas or anything? Or 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, you, you can shut the gas off. What's up, dude? Eventually I would have gotten to that. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> How you doing? Am I in the way of the door? Well, no, no, you're good. The door's oh, open. Oh, what happened? Oh, they're just, they love to come and be checking everything out. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come on, buddy. Inside. This one. You say, how do you feel? Hey. How you doing? Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come he was so excited last time he saw you out here working. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I need to go say hi. Uh, I need to go talk to him. He saw me on the machine. Yeah, he saw you on the machine. <laughs> There's a huge water pipe leak over here, like, that goes reverse and right in front of our house. Oh, and he the came city? over and he was, he was in the tractor and pulling oh. out all the dirt. And, oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah. Get it cleaned I up. I work on, I'm on the grounds, you know. Oh, okay. That's why it's getting milled. Oh, they've been ripping up my street for like well over a year in San Diego. <laughs> Where do you live on? I live on, uh, well, I'm on L, L Street, but I'm like 28th and so 26th and L is where I'm officially at. Near Logan? Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I was one of my old companies. Oh, okay. Oh, out, really? I hung out for me the other day, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't know Bert, what it's they're. Birthday. Okay. Yeah. Looks like they're replacing the sewer line or something. Yeah, it's, huh? deep, it's deep in there. It's oh, okay. There. Yeah, they've been. He's like, it's a big. He's like, it's a fucking deep one. It's like thirty feet. Oh wow. To get down the highway right there. Yeah, I'm telling him that you work for. Uh, what? Do like piping engineering? That you work with shit. Oh, I'm a shit engineer. Shit You work for the city or? No? Uh, I do city jobs. Oh. I've been working water, wastewater for like yeah. ten years now. I work for Flatiron. They're like a giant software company. funny because I see this. We talked about these little, little, so it's going to be a solenoid, right? Kind of solenoid valve, just electrical actuated valve or? Inside here? Or is it pressure or what, how does it run? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know that much about how they operate. I know in the older uh, valves it's a solenoid, okay. right? So there's like a magnet or something that gets energized and it holds it down and then that proves the flame and then it allows the gas to flow. The loop. Yeah. I'm sure it's a similar thing in these. Um, these might be, a, you could take a look at it. These might be a little more electronic inside. I, I couldn't tell you. I've never ripped one open. Um, I just replace them, you know, based on what they what they say. I want to, because I know Honeywell, who makes them, um, is right here in San Diego. So I want to try and contact them and see if I can do a little, you know, go interview somebody or like a, go do a little tour of their of their little factory or whatever, and so they can tell me how they're made. So right. I got boxes of them. I'd like to fix them if they're repairable. Uh, this is the uh, this is the valve right here. This is the the motherboard, right? So the motherboard communicates to the valve. This is ground. That's pilot, and that's your main right here. And so we can actually test the ohms between these. And if they're uh, they're supposed to be between 10 and 13. If they're over 13, it's bad. Sometimes 13.5 or six or seven is fine. But if you see like a 17 or an 18 or like a really low number, then you know the valve's for sure bad. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I, I imagine you could take this cover off and like get inside and actually see how the valve functions. I've, I've never gotten that far. Yeah, with with gas, I'll stay, I'd stay away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it won't, it won't be, uh, it won't have gas connected to it. Yeah, looking good? Yeah, well, you gotta return it. I wanted you to call him. Yeah, I mean, I, I sent you a picture of the card. And I, I said, know, I call him, call him, and you didn't call him. I, I goofed up. I just saw the one number, and we were so in yeah. urgent need of a water here, but I just called the first number. I'm surprised I you didn't answer my. my hey, buddy, can you want to go inside? Are you helping the picture with? I'm just walking. walking. Yeah, well, I'll get me. That's the old one. That's yeah, we'll check the. We'll go ahead and check the ohm on it while we got it opened up. Is it brand new? Something like that. So you set it to, uh, you leave the connectors in the same spot. Mm -hmm. okay. You put it on ohm, which okay. is this whole section over yeah. here. And um, you put it on 200. On the table. All right, I want you to so, lose them. And then you touch the ground. So you do ground. All right, once. You want us to hold it for you? 
Yeah, there you go. That'd be great. They don't have mangoes. No, no. Yeah, not the Harbor would. Freight ones. <laughs> yeah, this is Harbor Freight. Like yeah. four bucks. Uh. Yeah, it's always suspect. So there you go. So 14. So it says 14.2, right? So that's yeah. way above 13. Mm -hmm. right? And that's good? No, it's bad. Mm -hmm. And there's 14.2. So at least it's consistent. But, it's supposed um, to be above 17, you say? No, it's supposed oh. to be between 10 and 13. 10 and 13. Hey, buddy. And what's that mean? It's that too high. It's not good. <laughs> So that valve is bad, huh? Now, according to it, it's bad. I, now, I don't trust that. I, I've done the ohm reading on lots of valves before. Yeah. And I, I'm, not, I'm not... Are you excited? I won't just throw it away because it, because I'd throw every single valve I have away if I went off this, this ohm. Because yeah. they, I've never seen one perfectly hit 12, you know. Uh, okay. Or hit 11.5. And I've tested plenty of them that are working and they all seem to be quite out of range. Now, it could be this little... Cheap Harbor Freight. I mean, this thing is. I mean, the I have a, I have one too. So I mean, yeah. I if you want to use this one, it's yeah, maybe. I mean, I need to. I need to invest in something that's yeah, a little more accurate. Cause say how you said yours. There's your own. Okay. There's, there's a couple of them. Yeah, okay. that's your own right there. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, set that's it, it down yeah. to Wait, to the left. Oh. Is it already set at 200? No, it's yeah, it's offline right now, so it's not on. Oh no, it's empty. Yeah, maybe it's already on it. Yeah, this is a on thing. 20k, 200k, okay. 2 mil. So I guess 200 is moving 200 on. 200 so, yeah, right we'll there. We'll try it here. Let's see what this is. You don't have to be juggling it like a circus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, there you go. A whole different reading, right? Oh, yeah. So there's 11. I'm it's right. So there's 11.7. And there's 11.8. But I've measured them, you know, twice in a row and gotten different measurements. Yeah, well, I feel yeah, no, now I'm jumping between. <laughs> now I'm jumping between ohm meters. So we'll see. You know, it could be the cover. We could try just replacing the cover and see if it. There you go. Oh, the motherboard. Yeah. yeah, the motherboard. And see if it fires up. It could uh, even be like a false code seven. I mean, I haven't seen one yet, but I'm sure there. Tonight's probably the night. Um, so yeah, let's try that. Let me grab a. Uh, let me grab another cover. Another board. Let me see what's going on. Yeah. It's interesting though. Huh? Okay, well that's good. Random little engineering. I don't understand it at all. Round valve. So you so saying that the, this thing keep, is keep, good keep though? Keep it simple this way. And you're on camera. So watch out. In. Out. Calibrate. So this does sensor right here. It'll be a flapper. Mm -hmm. Tell it to not open. Uh, curve. Pretty much, they're they're pretty much interchangeable. They make one. They make one model that goes on a uh, like a hundred gallon water heater. Right. That uh, the ranges, the temperature ranges are different. Right. It's black. It's all black. Right. And um, and it's meant to to. It's like for a restaurant. I'm sure there's other ones out there that I just don't know about. That's why I want to like go talk to Honeywell. Be like, hey, you know. <laughs> so you switching these covers you. around <laughs> 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 and mixing and matching uh, valves, and uh, they're gonna be like, what? You can't do that. Be like, be like, well, well why not? Tell me why I can't. Yeah, tell me why I can't. It's working. It's working like gangbusters. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people call me all the time because I sell these valves used for like $35. Oh, uh, okay. And new, they're like, even the cheapest one's $150. I just what? Googled it. For $250. I, I Googled the whole valve, it said $200. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so it's used, but, you know. Yeah, it works. Sometimes I mean, you're saving. Works. Yeah, I sell them all the time. Sometimes I, I sell bad ones inadvertently because I just don't have enough time to check them all. Yeah. But, um. The black, one, black base ranges from $150 to $260. Red base holding like 180. Is that the price? Yeah, I'm just looking oh. at it. Oh, okay. I don't know the difference. You explain the black and the red. He's like, man, I should start charging more for these things. <laughs> no, <laughs> just no, I don't. I mean, when I do service calls, I only charge $10 for parts and the rest is labor. Yeah. And because uh, I get most of them for free. You, you save know. everything you can. You know yeah, what to I, save. Just, I just save all the. I'll get a water heater, it'll have a leak, and I'll strip the burner assembly and the valve off of it, and I'll just 
I'll just save it. So I know those pretty much are probably working, right? Mm -hmm. And then if I get a water heater that's not leaking and it has a problem, well, the problem is probably the valve. Yeah. Or, you know, because these valves, to be honest with you, they're great because they communicate and they talk to you and they tell you this and that. Yeah. But they're really sensitive and kind of finicky. Yeah, less is better. Yeah. It's not coming out, but this doesn't work on every single. That's why we created the other one. We created the other one because the current was unstable. So this is basically a battery with a resistor. Mm -hmm. So it's like three volts of, uh, you know, DC. It's th three volts. And then we put like, I think a 200 ohm. It's been a little bit of time, like a 200 ohm resistor in there. And if you put the, the, if you put the uh, multimeter on it, it'll show three volts. But when it's under load, that's when the resistor kicks, kicks in. in. Maybe you know that. And then it, redu it reduces the voltage down, but not every single. And it used to be by model number. Like I could started testing. I was testing so many of them. I noticed all the ones that had a C, like about so far into the numbered system would work. And then mm -hmm. the, these heart never work at all. But then after a while they started working, so I think the um, I think the voltage in the battery just got low enough to where maybe it was you know it was able to to work with it or something. But yeah, I had this uh, electrical <laughs> engineer. Cat. Cat. It lives yeah, here. it lives here. <laughs> here you go. I like your, your cat door. Yeah, I gotta get a new door here too. <laughs> I got a new door, a new water heater, a new faucet. There's so many things I need to do. Turn off better. Yeah, well, this is the most important thing, but the faucet actually shows up tomorrow, and I'm going to replace that tomorrow. But I can't turn on the hot water until the, this is until the faucet is replaced. But the faucet's here tomorrow, so I can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Trust me. You want me to turn that back? No, on? I got to reassemble yeah. all this. Shoot. <laughs> oh, because the gas was off. Yeah, mm -hmm. these sediment traps are like such a pain in the ass. Is that what that is? A sediment trap? Yeah, it's not even in the right spot either. It's like not even. They're supposed to be over here. They're supposed to come off the gas line and oh, do yeah. all the catching on that side, and then go right into the. And oh, plumbers right. just plumb them right on. There you go. He's fine now. He's got his And uh, I got to deal with it when I work on the valve. Oh, well. Well, I mean, I don't even remember ever seeing one of those things. Do you know about them? Yeah, I know about them because we did a. <laughs> how I got into water heaters is we did a. We did a. Like three, <laughs> three, 300, <laughs> 300 water heaters for the city of San Diego for yeah. the Housing Commission. And. Um, and then we got them all inspected. Actually, it was the other way. What was? Yeah, yeah. It was this uh, way. Was there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because the, the, the gas line won't reach yeah. into it if you. Oh, yeah. it's not even working. It's just that we won't be mad. I'm trying to assemble it properly. Get, get a cap. Um, and so the city inspector came out, and um, and we had them all inspected, and so our guys were initially. So this used to be the old way to do it. And then he's like, nope, can't put them there. Got to be off the gas. I have to hit the, it had the, so the sediment comes through and it hits the back wall and, and then it, it falls in. into the leg. And then the, um, the flex line comes off of that, which you usually have the shut off instead yeah. of this adapter. Right. And then it flexes over and adapts in. So you can see this isn't even. Like, yeah, that's a lot more. You just explained. No, that's funny the way like you explained it. I'm like, that's not. What no, it's, it's not. No, there's no, no. <laughs> What's it doing? Yeah, it allows yeah. the. I mean, maybe the sediment will fall in here yeah, if yeah, it bounces yeah. and catches just. What does it plug no, up? So saying it's like gas right? sediment. Yeah, it's it's like I think it's called bitumen or something that's in the line. Uh, it's actually like part of the pipe itself. It's like a catch can or something. Yeah, it catches anything that with weight drops yeah, in there yeah, yeah. instead of going through. It. Yeah, yeah. It's but it, it gets sense. through. But so. it gets through, it's it's gets through like this. <laughs> I see it all the time, especially with all the like gas lines. It'll flow all the way through, yeah. like all the way through the meter and kick in. So you weld your gas line all the way through. Huh. So it'll be shit with anything welded. So you have a lot of heaters right now in stock to sell? I have a lot of heaters. I have you? zero to sell. No, I worked on them all weekend and oh, you don't have sold every single stuff? one of them. So you're, got, so you're sending everyone to Dave anyways, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. I don't like to admit that. But yeah. 
<laughs> when people are like, I need one now, 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 and I'm just like, call Dave. Dave will take care of it. Yeah. And then I'll go fix it. <laughs> well, at least you make some money too yeah, from see, Dave. Then there you go. You know? Exactly. Yeah, you get a two out of three out of him, right? Because I got one that didn't have a problem. Yeah, it's got to go down, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's got to go like Yeah, straight. he gets some good ones. I mean, he gets some that work. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave's a good guy. I don't like Dave. He seemed very nice. He is. He's great. He gives you like a three year warranty or something crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's wild. I didn't think oh, about it. How he does I don't, it. I don't do it. I'm like, a three year warranty on a used water heater? Would I look yeah. like Lowe's or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, Hell no. <laughs> you want me to flush it and test it and, and replace all the bad parts and yeah. refurbish it and then give you a three year warranty? And, and watch the clock for three years? Hell no. Yeah. For, <laughs> for $75? You're going to call me. <laughs> for $75? No. I'm like, no, no. I'll sell it to somebody else in five yeah. minutes from now. There you go. Yeah. So well, he, he does it. When people ask me about warranties, I just send Sorry. them Dave's number. Yeah. <laughs> like, directly. So we'll see he here. He didn't say anything to me about the warranty, but... Oh, you didn't ask. You didn't ask. Yeah, I didn't He's ask. pretty good about it. He just says, bring it back if it don't work. That's yeah. basically what he said. He said, if anything's wrong with it, just let me know. We'll, we'll get there it. There it is. It blinked. Right. Yeah. It's coming up normal so what's, far. What's this guy for? It just goes here. This is just a ground. Okay, this is worthless. Hmm. <laughs> this is worthless. It's just a, it's a ground yeah. for... It ties in. Because I notice it's it's nothing but the screws touching. You know, the... Mm -hmm. it's, and it's cloth. You know, so, yeah. so it'll ground out With the board. It'll ground the screws up, go through. It'll ground up the board to a solid piece of something. Cause the board's floating back in there, so it'll go through there. There it is. And ground out on the bottom. Yeah, hot water now. Yeah, we'll see. You see it? You can hear it. Hear it. Crossed, right? Well, yeah, it's gonna blow up if it's not lit. But how's <laughs> this? Cause I thought this was lit. No, so this is the. This, this, is, this is what they call the ultra low. And NOx, which is some gas. I don't. I'm not sure w which gas it is. Um, and it takes the gas. It's literally. It ends right here. So that's the hissing you hear. Mm -hmm. And it's shooting this gas. When I first saw these things, I thought it was broken. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Gas is exposed to the surrounding What's atmosphere. That? Yeah. Like that's you, crazy. You yeah. And so it's shooting it down the tube. And then it, there's a screen inside, and it hovers on the that's screen. Fine. The yeah, on? the green screen, and it hovers up there, and then it catches the pilot light, and then you can see it. It's actually yeah, it if you look on. up yeah, in there. Yeah, I see it now because that's yeah. exactly what we were trying to do earlier. Mm -hmm. I was trying to light it to see if it just lit without the pilot light on, and I turned it on, and just oh. gas would go through. But it has to tell it. But it wouldn't let it. It wouldn't turn on. No, Cause no. This, that that pilot talks to this, then it sends it. Yeah. Out. Yeah, it sends the voltage to the motherboard. The motherboard comes up. It, it's got the prongs that it connects to the valve. So opens there's no water in there right now, so. Oh, yeah, we want to shut this down. Right? <laughs> I was like. <laughs> it's not pilot, not you yeah, I always forget, so. Uh, I, I can turn on the water. It's right there. Uh, yeah, you can start filling it up, I think. Um, even though it came up with a code 7, it, it seems to leave me like maybe something was bad in the board. Yeah. You know? So if. So quick again, question too with this. So the water it comes in here and comes out through the other side. Yeah, there's a valve up there. The water? Yeah. So for yeah, the water, well because because I have one, my faucet over there is the leaking. I'm trying to okay. fix the faucet and but it's leaking. So if I turn this on right now and let the water go through and put, put the let the hot water go through, uh -huh. the, it's gonna my yep. sink is gonna leak. Oh. But. It's fine because tomorrow it comes in and I can fix it and I can just turn off the You don't water. have an isolation? No, not underneath the, the not underneath the sink, sink now. It oh, sucks. Really? Yeah, That's it's a fucking old ass house. Oh wow. Well right now you can no, well, turn it on now. Now everything's sealed, you have everything tight, right? So you shouldn't yeah. have any trouble. So, you, what you do is you turn on your hot your water. Yeah, she got fits and, and, and then you turn on the hot water at the at the faucet. That way all the air comes out. That way the air comes out hot when you open this. Let's see. Let me explain to you guys. You want this the air inside these 50 gallons of air. Watch out, buddy. Here. Yeah, I don't it's so air. Watch out. You can release it at the t t temperature pressure oh, relief valve, that. too, if you want. Yeah, but you mess with that, all of a sudden it might leak a little, you know. It is. might. Yeah, it might. It's, it's not brand yeah. new. Yeah. <laughs> I don't warranty that part. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't do faucets, I, I just do I water heaters. specifically either. tell you. <laughs> so, so this right now, this is off, right? Yeah, so there's no water. I, but all the water's off right I know, now. Everything's the whole, off. So everything. turn that on. on. Or turn it on, and then you can turn on the faucet on uh, the outside. Yeah, I'm going to go turn on that. But turn on the hot water right here. Yeah, make sure you're open, Marty. Make sure your hot water at your sink is open. Aspirate that pipe. Oh, you have to gas up the place to go. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's making ass out of me and you. Don't worry, this thing's aspirating. <laughs> it's like it's already aspirating. So you can hear it? Well, it has. You got the hot water on, right? Yeah. So it's going to keep going yeah. out right now. Well, so the water of the house is shut off. Right? Yeah, the yeah. water of the house is shut off. Yeah. No, but it will when you open it up. So it'll start filling, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Well, yeah, really? yeah. yeah. I got a, a YouTube channel that where I so I'm yeah. filming. I do yeah. service calls, right? Give them your business card all day long, and I just film them. And uh, what's your number, dude? And oh, this put it up on the. Water you can, for you can sit and binge watch me uh, <laughs> fix water heaters. Yeah, he has YouTube. Well, no, I, I, my hot water. Fucking great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pay a thousand dollars if you go put a brand new one and make pictures. Oh, yeah. I'm always in that well, thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah. And I called it, I found you on Craigs, Craigslist and you sent me the date. Oh, uh, John. John? Yeah. Oh, John, the water heater guy, if you don't mind. Yeah, no, that's what people he, call me. He's, he's got a, a YouTube channel. You can just call me the factory. water heater guy, too. Oh, I answer to that. Factory, right? Is it the water heater factory? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you go there on yeah. YouTube and that's it. Want to be on YouTube or no? Oh, he has a GoPro. Yeah. yeah. Say hi. <laughs> you're, you're out of Marty. I'm gonna make sure. Which one's the hot on this one? This side. All right. So we changed uh, changed the cover on the water here. Basically changed the motherboard, and we seem to be good to go.
So we're replacing a water heater with a new water heater. And we're draining the tank. Double straps. I love that. Double wrap. We're going to save this because it never comes with it. It's the adapter for the gas.